you've probably noticed, you probably had an insight or something, or you grasped a principle. I don't know if you have, but you know, you certainly had an insight or whatever at some point. And then you kind of forgot it. Yeah? See? Or you grasped something, a principle, and, and then you kind of lost touch with it. Right? See? And so they say, well, I have to access that again. Yeah. Well, see, that's because the insight is a function of mind. You know? So that's why you, know, you get it and you lose it, and then you get it back. See? And then in that way, well, if you do that enough, and enough is whenever you don't lose it. <laughs> you see? And it's like, ah, got it. Oh, got it. Because sometimes, you know, you just have an insight and it's a bit too abstract or something. Or it's unfamiliar, you know. But that's still a memory, right? What you were talking about, like hammering an insight until it's printed in the brain, like it's a memory. No, it's having it again and again until it's imprinted in the brain. See, so when you have the insight, it's not a memory, it's an experience. Yeah, but once it insight. stays with, when it's... Yeah, okay. and then just like, yeah, right, right, just like, um, you know, you, you, um, you move your hand, and you don't have to remember that, but that was a function of work that you did, right, in order to learn how to move your hand. It's just moving your hand now. And when you have an insight, sometimes, and you could perhaps forget how to move your hand, you know, it's unlikely, but it could happen, you know, and it's probably not like you forget how to move your hand, but something happens, you know, and you can't move your hand, right? You know, and, uh, and then you have to rehabilitate, you know, so you can <coughs> find a way to learn how to move your hand or something. But the insight is uh, just grasping something true, you know, and then and you lose it for whatever reason. You don't, you don't grasp it, so you have to grasp it again. And so people look at enlightenment like that, too, because that's what we do. See, everything occurs in experience. Everything occurs as experience, you know, in your mind, so to speak. Yeah. And, uh, and so we, we see everything the same way. See, but, you know, absolutes, like what you are now, Infinity, space, really, but you won't understand that one. It's the nature of reality or existence, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, are only now. See, they are occurring. They're the basis for existence, so to speak. See, it's the it's what's really happening. And um, Mind is stuff, you know, experience is stuff that comes and goes, comes and goes, comes and goes. Okay? And so you keep track, you know, or you perceive, you access something, you perceive indirectly, it's always indirect. You perceive stuff. Hi, I'm Brendan Lee, and I've been studying with Peter Rawlson for 20 years. I really want you to know that no matter how many videos you watch or books you read, it pales in comparison to the power of the live workshops that we host here at the center or on Zoom. If you want to get serious and do work that makes a real difference, please check the links in the description to learn more. Thank you.